got to run myself and I gotta run now well, I look like something you can put in a fucking cage Hello YouTube Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on or by some fundamentalist dickheads and uh, people that refute them on whether homosexuality is a choice. And I, I keep hearing the argument, you know, even if you have those desires or uh, those needs, if you feel those needs to, you know, participate in homosexual behavior, then you have the choice to whether or not to act upon them. And um, as much sense as that makes, I, I have to, I, I don't really know how to put this, but let's use a scenario. Say we have a male that has those desires and those needs we'll call this male Sean um and you know for the sake of the Lord he's denying those those wants those needs he's married he has children um and uh you know, he's denying that. I mean, and he denies vehemently that he's homosexual or has those desires or anything. But deep down inside, he really does. Now, technically, to have those desires and to deny them, wouldn't he be not only lying to everyone around him, but lying to himself and that brings up a, a little conundrum of a uh, question which one's more important a line in Leviticus that says man shall not lie with man as he would have, as he would lie with women as in I've taken care of that line itself in previous videos but which one's more important? That little line from Leviticus or a rule that their God supposedly felt was so important that he literally etched it in stone. Thou shalt not lie. To deny oneself one's desires one's dreams, one's needs, is to lie to oneself. So, food for thought, which one's more important? Thou shalt not lie, or man shall not lie with man? Just random little question. Mary Park.